everybody, welcome to another episode of 4x4 Camping and Adventures. Um, so today I'm going to sort of delve a little bit into traction control. It, um, it comes on most new vehicles these days, so uh, I'm going to sort of give you a video on how to um, best utilise it in an um, off-road situation and actually explain how the system works. So as you can see, I've got a bit of a hill up here and um, it's a little bit rutted and, and uh, it's going to hopefully give me some opportunity to demonstrate how the traction control works. So I'm going to take the most rutted uh, off camber part I can find, so not the line I'd normally use. So I'm going to take that and really see if I can get this traction control working on the Triton. And uh, then obviously I'll turn it off, do another video and obviously show you how the system works uh, with the traction control off and how far I get up and if, and uh, yeah, to see if I can get up without the traction control. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, how traction control works. It's pretty simple. Essentially, if this tyre or this wheel um, is, let's say, doing 50 kilometres an hour, or in this situation, let's say, 10 kilometres an hour, and the rear wheel starts doing 30, 40, 50 k's an hour, so it starts spinning, and obviously as it spins, the speed sensor in that wheel detects, or the issue detects in that speed sensor that's obviously spinning too fast in correlation to the front wheel, and it clamps it, so it's, it grabs the brakes and obviously clamps the brakes on and stops the wheel from spinning. Now in that, in an off-road situation, the other wheel would start getting the power. So it stop, we wouldn't stop sending the power there, but that wheel wouldn't be able to utilise the power. So it would be sent to the other wheels, and then obviously as you go up the hill, it would be trying to clamp each wheel as you go up, and essentially that should get you up the hill. So I'll do a bit of a demonstration, I'll get some slow-mo footage of the actual clamping and, and the actual wheel stopping in, um, in, in action, and, um, and yeah, really sort of demonstrate how this works. Alright, so both times it made it up, which is good. It's not exactly a hard hill, it's just a bit steep and it's got a bit of ruts in it. So you should be able to get up here without trash control. What I'm trying to explain is, on the second go you can see it blowing all that uh, dirt and that kind of thing right up the top there where it got a bit rutted. Now essentially, what it wasn't doing is trying to clamp the wheel that was just throwing all the, uh, the power away. So I had to put more foot into it and essentially get up the hill, whereas the first time you just see how I crawled up there and the car was doing what it needed to. If it found a little bit of slip, it would obviously clamp those brakes. So you can see it pretty good there. I found another bit of a off, off section of can be uh, camera bit here. Um, I'll go on here rather slowly and see if I can sort of um, push it into working a little bit easier for the, um, for the camera. And, um, and yeah, just obviously get some footage of it actually working in action. And I'll get some slow-mo footage of this as well so you can actually see it really working in action on how it grabs that tire and lets me go back up. So uh, let's get into it. Alright, so you can see how it pretty much works straight there. Um, obviously it got into a point where one of the wheels wasn't getting enough traction and it was just throwing all that power to that wheel. So you're just not going to go anywhere as you can see. Um, and that rocking, as it was doing there, that's just going to snap CVs and all that kind of thing if you just start hammering it and start trying to push up. Well, you're not going to go anywhere. If you start spinning wheels, you're not going to go anywhere. You might just give up. Try to get a new line or whatever you want to do. But in this situation, turn the traction control on. It did struggle the first time I did it, but I tried it again and got up no dramas. Uh, so you can see the slow-mo footage here of just how that works and obviously how, it's going to, how it pushes me up that hill there. And this is probably the best, best example, like this is probably the most extreme example I could give you on how it's going to work. Um, on a normal gravel road, it's just going to work on base of speed and if a wheel's going to be spinning or vice versa. But um, that's pretty much how traction control works. Grabs that wheel, stops the power going there, sends the power somewhere else and essentially gets you up the hill. 
And as always, this is another video from 4x4 Camping and Adventures. I hope you learned something out of this. Um, a lot of people have been asking me how the whole track control system works with um, like an off-roading application and why I haven't gone lockers and this is one of the reasons why. It does get me 90% of the things that I want to do out of it. So um, as always, please subscribe, hit that like button, throw me a comment. Uh, we're putting more and more videos up every week so um, the, uh, the support's been fantastic. So I'll see you out there in the traction trails and uh, have a good day. Bye.